Hey everyone, how are ya? I am actually making green chili. So, um, hubby and my uncle are outside doing stuff, and so I decided I'm gonna chop up some beef, some stew meat, and so that's what I'm doing. Welcome to Margaret's Kitchen. You know, thank you all for joining me today and, and stuff this morning. I just thought, like I said, I just thought I'd make a quick green chili and stuff so you guys can see how I how I prepare it and stuff so that's what I'm doing the sound you hear in the back is ocean sounds and um, and stuff so I don't own any rights to any music but if you hear it that's what it is anyway so that's what I'm doing I hope everyone's doing well I hope everybody said their prayers you know um, you know what this is me when I'm at home I just you know I'm, I'm simple um, I did go to uh, Hobby Lobby this morning you know Hobby Lobby gets me in trouble every time I go over there, oh my lord. But anyways, but I got some stuff that 50% off that I that I was waiting for it to go on sale. So it went on sale and I got it. So anyways, and that's pretty much it, you know. So I'm just here, you know, making some lunch for the guys. And, um, and I thought that would be good. So I said, you know, green chili sounds so good. And I had some frozen green chili from, um, it's this... In here in Albuquerque and um, actually Eva's is from Berlin I think that's where she's still at let me see oh it's from Array New Mexico anyways and so um, like I said I really like I love green chili green chili is one of my favorite I like red too but I'm gonna make red chili tortas on um, I'm gonna make torta de huevo on Friday for Good Friday you know, and so that's how I'm gonna do. Make torta de huevo. My grandson asked me to make some sweet rice, and um, and then I'm gonna we're gonna make salmon patty. So he's coming over early, and we're gonna he's he wants to help. So a ver si vienen temprano. Who knows? You know how the kids are. But anyways, but he wants to help cook. So anyway, so that's what I'm making on Friday for Good Friday. So watch out, and so for that, it's gonna be really good. And so anyways, we got our meat back from the from the processor and oh my god the meat is so beautiful and stuff so happy with it so I have my cazuela already you know already warming I put it back over here because I had it on too long and um, so I have that going already and then once I get the meat and stuff going then it'll be nice and then I'll peel some papas and make a little bit of fried potatoes and um, I don't know what else I'm gonna make. You know, maybe I'll fry up some spam, cause you know we love spam in this house, and um, and stuff. So I might just fry up some spam, and uh, or as my sister-in-law calls it, you know, the Vienna sausages. My sister-in-law Tammy, one day we were having breakfast at her house, and she goes, "I'm gonna make some we need those," and that's what she called them. And I go, "We need those." I wonder what that was. I didn't know what it was, and she pulled out the Vienna sausages. And um, she, you know, she and she likes those, and so now I call them, you know, the same thing. So I may just fry up some uh, Vienna sausages because I really like those as well. So my sister-in-law, that's her, that was her thing. I don't know, you know, if she still remembers that she told me that and stuff. Probably not, but it's all good. Anyways, and so, but yeah, so I enjoy doing different things and stuff and and things like that. But last night. If you guys saw my video of me cooking the other day when I was making empanaditas for breakfast and, <laughs> and the flour went boom, it exploded poof, you know, like a big old poof of, it was so funny. My grandson, my daughter, my son-in-law, they could not stop laughing. They couldn't stop laughing you know and oh my god it was just hilarious and what happened is it was the water the emulsifying of the of the shortening i used crisco so the emulsifying of the shortening and everything when i poured it in i poured it in too quickly and that's what created that poof and so it's hilarious oh those guys they just couldn't stop laughing last night they thought gami was just hilarious and stuff hey i'm not a pro i'm just doing this okay anyways um so that's what's happened so it was it was pretty funny i laughed at myself hey when you can laugh at yourself that's a big deal and so, so i did i laughed i couldn't stop laughing 
and so anyway so that's you know what transpired and stuff and so anyways this is what I'm gonna do this week so we're gonna make some um, I'm gonna make cheese enchilada it's like a cheese stacked enchilada casserole so usually when we when I just make it for the family I roll the enchiladas into a casserole so I roll each one with cheese and onions I never put meat inside the rolled enchiladas it's not anything like I said we all learn from our from you know whoever taught us how to cook and my mom um, she never she never rolled her enchiladas with with meat in them so we always had cheese and onion enchiladas and the meat was always in the red chili so because um, she always made red chili enchiladas rolled and so and then if she that's when she did them as a casserole and of course the stacked is you know the same way she never put meat in, in between or beans or anything but like I said everybody learns their own special way so um, but this is how we cook it that's how my grandma did it and most of everybody you know our family that's how they did it and so um, anyway so um, I'm gonna be making some of those I'll make some cheese enchiladas on uh, also because um, and then we got to make stuff for my Zaki because my Zaki doesn't eat a lot of a lot of this stuff but he loves a good in cheese enchilada so with no no chili not a lot of chili he just likes it a shadow and so which is okay but at least he's eating you know he's not there no take me to McDonald's excuse me take me to McDonald's or this and that he's not like that you know he will try he'll try it thanks to our Logie because my my Logie got him taught him to you know just try it Zachy baby Zach just try it and so because he's our baby of the family and our Zachy so Logie used to call him baby Zach you gotta try it but baby Zach wasn't always excited about doing it he was like oh you know but don't put anything green in front of baby Zach any type of green vegetable because oh lord that'll be it anyway so here's my here's my carnita and um so that's what you know what i'm doing i'm gonna put it in my cazuela Again. Boy, if you can hear that sizzle, you know you got yourself a nice hot, uh, you know, skillet or cazuela in this case. So then now I rinsed my bowl, my my uh, my board. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel a few papitas, and then this is the chili that I use. No, I'm not advertising for them. It's just, I'm just showing you, this is the one I'm gonna use today because I had it in the freezer. I always have, in case you run out, I always have some good green chili, you know, in the freezer. So from the store, for from this company, this is all New Mexico, New Mexico, New Mexico. And when I run out of red chili, if I do, I always buy Bueno. Bueno products is what I buy. So um, like, that's what I buy. So you can find it, you can order them on their website you can order it on the new mexico connection it's called new mexico chili connection something like that anyways you can order from their website that's where i send stuff to my sister in tennessee often you know and i'll send her some surprise packages so that she could have that you know and so because she does crave it and so anyways but now when my when my carnitas in here i do put a little bit of salt and I will put a little bit of garlic powder. And I love garlic powder. So don't anybody give me grief. I love garlic powder. And um and stuff. So anyways, um, and you know, and I like the garlic powder when I'm doing chili like this. Not when I'm blending. When I'm blending it, if that's all I have, that's what I'll use. But when I use the garlic powder. Um, it's because I don't like to bite into the garlic, you know, I just simply don't like to bite into big chunks of garlic And so anyway, so that's what I um, what I end up doing But anyways, let me get some papitas out So 
So I'm gonna do the papas. And so, and you know I love papas like this, but I'm gonna peel them and whatnot. You get my little peeler, let me get a paper plate and stuff. So that's what I'm doing. So in the last few days, I've been cleaning out my drawers. All the drawers, oh my God. But you know, I'm not wearing some a lot of this stuff anymore, you know? Um, I am proud to say that I used to weigh 267 pounds. And throughout the last 10 years, I have gone from a size 22, 24 to a size 14, 12, 14 in, um, in pants. And I'm so excited, yay! But I've kept it off, you know? I mean, I've done it all by myself. I'm, I never went on any 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 type of diet, never have tried keto or nothing like that. It's just something that I did. And so anyways, so I got rid of all the size 16s and that's what I'm doing, just cleaning out closets. No, I don't have a new wardrobe, but you know, um, little by little I had bought a few things. So that's what I had done. So anyway, so which is, a, which is great and stuff so that's what i you know that's what i was doing cleaning out my drawers so you know i always put when i'm posting you know that this stuff is for sale you know i always put on there you know i'm not a store i'm not a i'm i, I don't have a dressing room hello and so i sell it as a lot you know it's easier to sell as a lot and say take it all or that's it i'm not separating anything because you don't want to be stuck with 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 stuff you know even when you have yard sales or estate sales my God, you're not using it anymore. No más vendelo. Just sell it. You get rid of it. And so anyway, so that's what I've been doing. So no, amiga, Marianne, I did not buy a new wardrobe. Just got rid of stuff that is way too big for me already. And and I did it, by, you know, I've done it by myself. You know, it, it was like, I, I don't know. I don't have that discipline to go on, on certain types of diets because I enjoy cooking. I love cooking. And so I try to just push that plate back. One day, my uh, comadre, Sandra, she tells me, I says, comadre, you look so beautiful. What have you done? She goes, push the plate back. That's all I've done, she said. Just push that plate back. And, um, and you know, and that, that truly does make sense. Push the plate back. Just serve yourself one serving. You don't have to serve yourself three servings. And so anyway, so what we've been doing is, uh, I'm rinsing the, the papitas. And then I'll get my skillet out so that we can, um, so I can fry the papas. So anyways, so I, um, so that's what she told me. So Jesse and I have honestly been trying, you know, we've been trying to just um, have a smoothie. You know, if we're going to have a smoothie, we choose when we're going to have that smoothie. And, and so it's helped him because, you know, he has a lot of panza issues and stuff from being in Iraq and it just affected him all the way around. Everything has affected him. And so anyways, oh, the papas, how I'm cutting them today is like a fr like french fries and I'm making them uh, O'Brien potatoes. I like those kind of potatoes. And so anyways, so that's what I'm doing. And no tortillas, no nothing. I'm just, you know what, we're gonna have corn tortillas or, or pan. But you know, the one thing I did is I did find a a really good bread that doesn't have a lot of sugars or anything like that. And so, ooh, the, the meat's cooking really nice. This carne taste looks good. Beautiful meat. If you guys ever want some good carne, get a hold of my cousin Gilbert Senna in, um, in Las Vegas, New Mexico. They have a, a working ranch and they, they do sell beef. Um, you know, they send their beef to processor and whatnot. Man, the, the meat is beautiful. So anyways, and, um, but anyways, so yeah, so that's what my mother said. I, you know, I try, I, I, you know, as much as I, I'm just not going to dwell on everything. I can't, you know, I can't, you know, but I'm trying, you know, I always try. Everybody says, well, how can you? She said, they said, with how you cook, my God, you know, <laughs> and stuff. So yeah, you know, I, I do, but, you know, the family has to eat too. So I, I just cook and I'm trying, you know. So I've been good about 
the tortillas porque como me gustan las tortillas you know I love tortillas and I'm temp I was tempted to make some today but I, I just can't make any not today because I just I'll eat them I love tortillas oh my god you know I love homemade tortillas but I'll eat them <laughs> so I have to stay away from that too but anyway so yeah you know I was all excited when when my YouTube page hit over a thousand, I was so excited, you know, and um, sometimes I probably get people tired because I always tell everybody, you know, thank you for buying my cookbook, Comidas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre Es Tu Sangre, you know, thank you so much because I'm grateful, that's why I keep saying it, you know, I'm so grateful and I want you to see my website, I want you to see what I have and stuff, you know, cookbook wise and, you know, order it if you haven't and and stuff my recipes have, are easy they're down home recipes and they're easy you know so i am um, i enjoy it so you know check out my website www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com and check it out you know and so i just like i said you could see my daddy in the back over there i keep him in my kitchen with me that was the first uh poster i had of him uh when i got my cookbook and so, you know, when my cookbook came out, and so let me check my, my carnita. Ooh! This looks good. And so anyway, so I was just, ouch, I had an itch there. Let me wash my hands. And so anyway, so I was, you know, just excited, and I get excited. And like I told you, on April 15th, I'm going to do, you know, a recipe my dad, my dad really enjoyed. I'm not saying what. My sister was here the other day and she goes, what are you going to make? What are you going to do? And I was like, I don't know yet. I don't know. It's because, you know, I just, I, I, like I said, I enjoy cooking, but I just want to surprise everybody what I'm going to make and stuff. And it's probably something that everybody makes, but you know what? It's my dad's favorite recipe, a, a, a favorite food, April 15th, his birthday. And on that day we're giving presents so you guys everybody tune in to april 15th because we're gonna do we're giving away gifts i'm going to give away a, few, a one large gift and then uh of one of my favorite cooking cooking tools you don't know you never know what it's going to be and um brand you know i'm gonna get it to you guys so invite everybody but on april 15th i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna give a few several uh smaller gifts away so um you know what so don't forget log on you know check it check me out on that day get on there invite your friends invite your family because we are going to celebrate daddy that day we're going to celebrate daddy and stuff so you know like i said everybody knows that my dad it was always my biggest cheerleader i love my dad so much you know, he was such a fair man. You know, if you did something for the man, you know, he always acknowledged it. He never, he never, um, uh, he never tried to say different. You know, if you did it for him, he acknowledged it. And he was thankful and he would tell everybody, you know, things like that. You know, he was always thankful. And every time I did anything for dad or mom or whatever, he would tell everybody, you know, ah, mi margarita, la margarita lo hizo. La Margarita, you know, not that I needed praising or anything like that, but Daddy was just, a, just such a fair man, you know. He gave you credit where credit was deserved and where credit was due, and if you did something wrong, he told you you did something wrong. But like he would always say, you know, every one of my children are different, but I love you all, you know. Every one of us were his favorite when we were in front of him. He never had just one favorite that that you know nothing daddy was just a fair man you know and that's what makes him that's what made him so different you know is that he was just a fair man so anyway so on april 15th we're going to celebrate him and because my brother my younger brother ernest was born on my dad's birthday i'll give a special gift away on his behalf um you know to recognize him i'm going to give a special gift away a second large gift away um, to recognize my brother and stuff so it's going to be like really really it's going to be really really cool so anyways um i had my well 
So anyway, it's, um, so it's going to be nice. And in here, who has a grease can? I love putting bacon grease and whatnot in here so that we guys can see. And I'm just going to put a little bit for my papita. There's nothing like good bacon grease. And so, um, so that's what I'm doing. Hey, I'm cooking like mother today because mother loves bacon grease, you know. But anyway, so my book was, you know, Comidas de Mi Familia was, you know, was dedicated, my first publishing dedicated to my dad. And so that's why I'm doing it. You know, I dedicated that book to dad. So I'm excited. And I just want to share his birthday with everybody. So remember to invite everybody to join. And you know what? Hit that subscribe button, please. And subscribe to my channel, but keep, you know, watching. Because I plan on being here for a long time. But please subscribe to my channel. Doesn't this top, it's like, I love this top. It's so cute. But at the same time, I don't know. But anyways, um, it shows everything. Um, anyways, like I said, I'm going to wash my hands. And so, um, so, you know, I look forward to sharing Dad's birthday with, with all of you that day. You know, I just look forward to sharing that birthday with each and every one of you and stuff. I'm just ex excited. I'm looking forward to it. Yay. And so, watch out, world. Here we come on April 15th. <clears throat> you're going to... Like I said, you're going to be really pleased with what we give away. So um, remember, subscribe, and you won't know how we're going to give it away unless you're watching live, you're giving me a thumbs up, and uh, you're never going to know who's going to do it. <clears throat> but I do know that one person's going to get a really wonderful surprise. Well, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, now the everything is ready in here. So now what we're gonna do is put the papas. I'm gonna bring the skillet. It's really nice and hot. Somebody's phone ringing. Put all the papas in my skillet. But anyway, it's like I said, it's going to be fun, you know, for April 15th. So it's going to be wonderful and stuff. So check it out. The meat is, oh my gosh. And then I'm going to put some salt and pepper in my papas. I'm going to bring you guys over here. You guys can see what I'm doing. Look, check it out. Look at my house with the... I'm going to bring it a little closer because I want you to see what I'm doing. This is my favorite way of eating the carne. Mm. Now that's good. Now, I don't put flour. My mother never put flour. Mm, that would be just delicious. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the whole container of green chili. And then I'm going to add the water. This chili smells delicious.
And then now I'll put some more garlic and stuff. I won't put any more salt to have plenty of garlic, I will. And so I put, I try to get as close to hot water as possible. And I'm gonna put this one full container. And this is a 28 ounce container. And then I'm gonna put about 10 more ounces. So it's like half the container. I'm gonna put half the container in. Yep, perfect. We get a spoon so you guys can see that part. And just what I'm doing. I'm gonna let it come to a great a good boil. And then I'll lower it. So see look. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of the garlic powder. Like I said, I love garlic powder, so. And I'm making it the same way my mom makes it. And I am gonna add just a tad of salt. And that's all I do for my green chili. All that I do. Look at this. All that I do. Now just let it come to a good boil. And then get my spatula for my papitas. See? Looks good, huh? Yee, my gosh, these are cooking delicious. And not, and you know, there's nothing like I said, there's nothing like cooking with a little bit of bacon grease. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. How many have their favorite skillet? Because I know I do. I just have favorite, my favorite skillet. Let me get the eggs out. Let me get the eggs. And I do put the eggs in the same thing. Once I take the puppies out, I'll put the eggs in here. Oh, man. These are looking good. Don't forget, you guys, hit that subscribe button. You know, click on it. Hit it. You know, give me a thumbs up. And invite everybody to come join us in Margaret's Kitchen NM. Look at how good. Oh, my God. These are looking. Oh, they're already almost. But I like to. I want to get them real close. I love that. The crunch to get toasted and that. And to be crispy on the bottom, and oh my god. Once this starts boiling, oh my god, then we simmer it. 
It'll be wonderful. Look at this. Oh, everything is. Look at this. Oh my God. This is what you want with your chili. Look at that. This is great chili. So my papas are exactly where I want them to be, guys. Look at this. That's how I want it. You know, just bien tostaditos. Watch. You know, tostaditos like this. So now I'm going to bring over my my egg skillet. Turn it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to get my little uh, plate. Plate. Grandpa's plates. I always think of my grandpa when I see these plates. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm going to put my webby fills in there. Put my... Oh, no. You know what I think I'll do? I think I'm going to make the weenitos first. I'm, I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to showcase my sister-in-law for a bit. And showcase her and I'm gonna because she's the one who taught me this so my Vienna sausages so I'm gonna fry them up in that egg skillet real quick and like I said something she taught me and um, and then one time we were at, at mom and dad's and um, so my brother and sister-in-law come for breakfast on Sunday after after church and um, so my, I had already told my dad about what my sister-in-law called these. And so it was so funny because he said, we're making, we're going to make your, your favorite, um, we need those. And she looked at him like, what, you know about that, you know? And it was so funny because my dad was just a funny guy, you know, he, um, he liked, you know, he always loved to talk to his his kids or whatever and if they did something you know it was fun so anyways I'm, I'm emptying the the cans okay so look Vienna sausages so I'm gonna put them in in here and just cook them up and then And I'm just going to put it all in. And the stove is hot, so that's why it's jumping all over. Oh, these are cooking good. So I think, yeah, I, you know, showcasing what my sister-in-law taught me. I like to show what people have taught me, you know. I really do, and she's the one who did this, and that's what she called them. We need those, so we're having we need those and stuff. So it'll be a, it'll be tasty. It's a tasty treat, and um, and stuff, and you know, and it's an, it's an inexpensive treat. I'm gonna clean up some of the grease that popped. You know, when you're cooking, you gotta you gotta know that nothing's gonna stay clean. There, and um, but anyway, so I think that's gonna be. That's going to taste marvelous. Look at this. Ooh, yum. Me, I'm going to bring you guys over a little bit so you can see. And how it's just boiling away. See how wonderful? Look at that. Look at this. Wow, huh? And then look. So you know, so it's it's great.
Isn't it neat? Looks good, huh? <sighs> I'm so excited. Everything's coming out so good. Really good. And they feel that just so cute. You know? And, um, but hey, it's always fun to try different things and stuff. So instead of making bacon or sausage or anything like that, I think the weenie post sounded good. You know, like I said, I'll showcase my sister-in-law that she's the one who taught me. My sister-in-law, Tammy, she taught me this and stuff. And so look at the green chili. And like this is frozen green chili. Like I said, you can order from their website, New Mexico Connection. Um, his name is Ron. Really a nice guy, you know, and... Um, because I send packages to our friend, our friend Michael at Monell's in Tennessee, and um, and then to my sister in Knoxville, I send her packages, and you know it's just something I I enjoy sharing and um, and stuff because I can't always get it. And uh, my sister, you know, I'll send her smaller portions like that of what she can freeze because her family doesn't all they don't all eat it. They don't all eat chili. Well, her husband doesn't really eat chili. And um, so anyways, and her kids, her son-in-law, oh my God, Josh, her son-in-law just loves New Mexico chili. Loves, you know, all that. And um, so one day when he comes to visit, he'll, you know, he'll get to have a little bit more and stuff. So I think my sister finally has a partner to eat chili with her and her daughter, my niece Heather, you know, because... <laughs> Her husband doesn't like New Mexico. Not that kind, that kind of stuff like that, you know, and stuff. Oh my God, these are looking really good. I have my plate ready so I can, you know, and, um, and stuff. So I'm going to put this here for just a second and stuff. Woo! -wee! Everything is coming along. Yes. I mean... But you know what, if we had smell the vision you guys would be excited and stuff, you know? So, because everything's cooking in Margaret's Kitchen here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Everything is cooking in Margaret's Kitchen. Yes. Okay, look at that. So I'm going to take these out. I'm going to put my paper towel at the bottom. And that way, you know, they're drained really well. Wow, look at this. Isn't that amazing? Scrunches. And then now, I'm gonna fry my eggs in here. Everything's cooking beautiful. And who doesn't like the crust at the edges of your eggs? Oh man. You know, if you have the right skillet, the right temperature, yummy, yummy. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the chili down. I'm just gonna put it at low. And and in the cazuelas, it just keeps on, it just keeps on boiling for a while. So you're good. And now fry my eggs. You know, it's so funny because 
Logan and Zachary, my grandsons, ooh, they love frying eggs at Donnie's, you know. They love it. And they'll sit there last night. Loki was here, and and um, that's what he did. He, just, he said, I'm going to fry me some eggs. Okay. He loves eggs at Donnie's and stuff, so it's so funny. Okay, I'm going to get a fork. Get a little minitos. I can put them into my plate, place them into my plate. Then I'm going to get a fork for me. Okay, the eggs are ready. Get some papas. And then I'm going to pour me some chili. Mix it a little bit. And pour my chili. Look at this. Oh my God, Whew. it smells so good. I'm gonna move my camera a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. But anyways, you know what? Again, welcome to Market's Kitchen. Comidas de mi familia, tu sangre es tu sangre, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. I thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for just being a part of my kitchen, you know, my messy kitchen today. Because it is messy today. Let me bring it down just a little bit so you can see where I'm at. And remember that if you have not ordered my authentic New Mexico cookbook, please do so at www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. Thank you guys. Now let's taste. Let's do the taste test. Yum! Buen provecho a todos. Buen provecho. Happy eating. We get a little bit of papitas. A little bit of, I'm going to put that in there. A little bit of chili. Cut this a little bit. Mmm. Now, I'm going to put a couple in here. Add the winitos. Cut the little Vienna sausages. Or the winitos, as my sister in law Tammy would say. Mmm. Get a little bit of chili with it. Mmm. Wow, this is like really, really good. Look, there's a little bit of hot dog. Mmm, this is amazing, yeah! It tastes delicious, just the right amount of everything. Again, thank you for joining me in Market's Kitchen here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up, okay? We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Adios. Buen provecho. You name it. Don't forget to pray. Don't forget to do your squats. Don't forget to dance. And then your squats. Then your squats. Anyways, talk to you later. Bye.